I believe Atiku Abakar represents the young people, represents the youth of Nigeria, because Atiku Abakar presidency is the youth agenda. I know we've been craving for youth leadership in Nigeria. We have the expertise, we have the experience. We have capable and interested Nigerians who are willing to take the mantle of leadership of this country. But we know how difficult the politics is. And we need a mentor. We need someone that will groom the young people so that this person will hand over power to the young people. And that man is Atiku Abakar. And that's why we are all here. If you look at this event, mostly are young people, because young people are the ones who believe in Atiku Abakar, in Atiku's message. And if you look at Atiku Abakar's policy, it's all about the young people. When you talk about job, when you talk about education, when you talk about security and restructuring of this country, it's to safeguard the future for the young people of this country. So I believe there is no any aspiration wherever that is fitting for the young people than the Atiku Abakar's aspiration. And that's why we rally behind him. He has done it in the, in the past. We've seen how many young people he has groomed who are now leaders of this country. And he's still doing that. And I believe he's surrounded by the young people. We want to tap into the minds and experience of the young people. So I think Atiku Abakar is a youth president because he promised to be a transitional president that will hand over power from the senior generation to the younger generation. To be honest, frank and sincere, if that is how our young men and women are going to run a church, I don't mind being a transitional head of state president. So this is the shortcut for the youth presidency supporting Atiku Abakar. So my advice to the young people, my call to the young people of Nigeria is let us, let us come out in mass, support him before he wins the primary because he needs to get the delegates. So let us go out there and talk to the delegates and then talk to our friends and vote for him as a president of Nigeria in 2022. As one, we can get it done.